My name is Cassie Kasner and I'm a craftswoman at Rustic in Maine. I've been here for almost four years. Well, I knew Mother's Day was coming up and I wanted to do something special for my grandma, my grandma Darla, and I was thinking about what I could, could make for her that would be memorable and started thinking about my grandpa. He passed away in August of 2021, left behind just such a legacy and so I wanted to commemorate him in a ring to give to her on Mother's Day. My favorite memory of my grandfather would be his smell, actually. He always smelled like gunpowder and black coffee. He got up, the first thing he did every morning was drink his coffee, he used to say. He loved it, hot, black, and bitter. <laughs> Although there wasn't a bitter bone in his body. So for the ring, I selected a branch from the white oak tree that my grandfather is laid to rest under. I shaved that down, so that'll be half of the ring. And then for the other half, I'm doing a layer of coffee grounds, because coffee was my grandfather's second love after my grandmother. So I'm gonna represent him with coffee grounds as the first layer, and then over that, I'm going to place flower petals from all the different arrangements that people sent along with their condolences, just to symbolize the love and the outpouring and the impact that he had on so many people. So it'll kind of look like the flowers are sprouting up out of the soil. So Grandma is an artist, and she's a great painter, drawing, everything. So she actually, she would take pictures of us as kids and then draw them. So she drew one of me when I was really little playing with sheep at a nearby farm. It's one of my favorite pictures, but I think a lot of my artistic side comes from her. And then of course my grandfather being the woodworker, I'm kind of like a combination of both of them. So I thought it would be a great gift for her for Mother's Day. And actually the day that we're filming this is his birthday. And tomorrow is going to be her birthday and then Mother's Day is this weekend, so it'll just, all the timing's perfect. You know, I don't think you realize how capable you are of loving someone until a beautiful story is coming to an end. And so this ring is sort of a way that his story can live on. Grandma, this Mother's Day, I wanted to do something special. It is the first year we haven't had Grandpa with us. No, why'd you write that? I <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> you want to see me cry? <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna cry too. With us on this earth, and I know he is looking down on us from heaven. So I wanted you to be able to look down at something and think of him too. In the box, you will find a ring. <gasps> I keep reading. <laughs> that I made titanium uh -huh. and inlaid with oak. <laughs> with the oak tree Grandpa now rests under. The other half of the ring includes coffee grounds. <laughs> oh dear, to represent his second love after you, that's true. <laughs> and flowers we received as a family from those who, whose, li whose lives Grandpa impacted. There are some pansies too. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. 
takes a look at it. Or don't be on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I sized, I think I sized that right in there. I'll take this one. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Perfect fit. Oh. I love you, Grandma. So much. My grandfather was here. I would tell him that we're okay. And I would tell him, most importantly, that I love him. And thank him for raising my dad to be the man who he is today. And for everything that he imparted to us. Um, and the legacy that, that he left behind is um, still going strong.